Hello everybody, this is the Cat Place Games here, and welcome again to Crossout 101 Guides. Today we're gonna cover haste, uh, heist uh, rates, and I'm gonna explain what kind of vehicle you need, as well as w how you, you should play this game mode. A good vehicle like this is gonna be tough, has a lot of moving parts, so I, I got 8 wheels, although that's, even that is l uh, on the low side. Uh, unarmed for my guys is on the top, got some machine guns and a Caucasus machine gun as well to help me engage automatically. I got plows in the front to uh, ram away enemy uh, rammers from the front. And the speed isn't really that important in this game mode. However, the uh, fact that you can stay moving at any time is very important. Today we got Grand War and Jelly Mix with me. Uh, guys, please say hello. Hello. Yo. And we'll be playing this together with the three of us. We're at this today. We're on the Lost Coast map. The heist is only on two maps: on the Lost Coast and the Big Storage uh, 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 map, where you got a lot of those storage containers, and you play in between those. The Lost Coast is basically a large U-shaped map where you have to go up that way, then to the right, then that way, and, and into the enemy base. Enemy base and the road towards it are both protected by. <laughs> oh Whoa. my gosh, he ran over. He flew over me. Alt. Anyway, he, uh, the uh, road towards the um, uh, uh, base and the base themselves are uh, uh, protected by mines. Mines are the little uh, red arrows that pop up on the radar. You should see one pop up in any second, right here. This guy, right here. Do not drive over these mines because you really, really will really lose your wheels and you'll get damaged. You've got these red ones which are barrels. Those barrels will actually explode and will have a um, fire, uh, little bit of fire around it. Well, you also have uh, green mines and those do just do extreme amount of damage to your vehicle. It is possible to man maneuver in between them, however, you do you want to hey, watch out for rammers in this game mode because rammers are really really annoying and B these mines have a small explosion ra uh, detection radius so even if even if you uh, stay at small range from it you can still get them uh, you can still detonate it here there are also tourists right there at the base and one there from here there. These launch unguided rockets, so uh, you can stop and dodge in that way. You do have you have a 10 second timer on the actual cargo, which you have to collect and then get to the back to the where you came from, the escape zone. On the uh, at the other map, the storage uh, storage map, you actually do uh, don't do not have the same spawn. Exit zone, you actually have a different zone. You have to get halfway to the map to get the cargo and then get to the other half of the map to actually exit it. And I actually lost my wheel, so I'm gonna drop it. And have Jello mix, have it pick up. Oh, so many wheels that I'm better off self destructing right now. And escorting him back to the base from here. You will probably reach around halfway by the time I reach halfway, so that's not really going to be a problem. I do want to point out that in this game mode, uh, the AIs respawn indefinitely, so you're better off uh, disabling them than uh, destroying them, because if they're disabled, they will not respawn. Well, if they are destroyed, they will. So that's actually why the Cox isn't that much of a great weapon in this one. Even though it's automatic, you don't have to do anything for it. It will destroy targets, will not stop firing if they're in firing range. Looks like Jelly Mix made it back to here. Get so this thing off me. <laughs> uh, get on it. It's like an inch from my damn generator, it's scaring me. There it goes. It's a that you still have all your foot tracks. Got 
much I have. Taking everything, but I think I've got like two pieces of armor left. You, you sh uh, sh secretly made your freaking tracks from Terralinium or Stellinium or something. This is one of the units you have to watch out for, the aimer, uh, the little gunner ones. Gunner ones, as well as the third deployer ones, have pretty, uh, have pretty devastating firepower. This one. That one is armed by AGS, and that he, this one was armed with the crossbow. We're about to reach the end circle, and once he gets into the end circle right there, we win. Because he carries the cargo. If I carried the cargo, I would have to get into the end circle. And that's a GG. Another example for uh, vehicles like this, I'm gonna take these and kind of modify this one a little bit. Is to use armor tracks. Armor tracks are really tough, but they are a little bit on the slow side, so you do have to watch out for that. I'm gonna move these ones up like this, and I'm gonna put four tracks on this one as well. A good way to protect your friend in this game mode is to use RAM, uh, use these parts. However, you sometimes you want to put put those at the rear as well because the uh, rammers have a tendency to either ram you head on or uh, catch up to you from behind. So if you have either armor, uh, the plow the plows actually decrease the damage done by active melee weapons. So if you uh, if they hit me head on, they will do hardly any damage. If they hit me in the rear, however, I do have a chance of them getting stuck between the two tracks and not doing anything. But they could hurt me from the rear pretty badly. Here's a gunner one, AGS, and he also has a turret deployer. This one, this target right here, you can see that's a melee unit. He carries melee weapons. A little cross section one that carries either crossbows or cannons. Those, although those are a little bit more rare, they're more for something for defense mode. Which, I don't know, where they snipe from afar. Again, watch out for the mines. You can drive in between them, but it's very, very annoying to do. Right, incoming. Also, I want to point out that once a rammer attacks somebody, he will stick to that target forever. Literally, if if, if some if that that AI will simply ram the first target, and you will just lock on that target, and it will keep on attacking that same target forever and ever and ever. It will not switch to another target. You can exploit this, but it's better to just disable it as soon as possible. Let's break a little bit and get this one wide out of the way. A couple coming in the back here. Yeah. Roger. My caucuses should be able to deal with it pretty soon. Okay, I'll take the cargo again. Always best in this mode as well is just rush through it as long as, as quickly as possible. You do not want to stick around after you do something because 
the again the enemies will just keep on spawning. Here you can see that guy went right, try to get back to Grin War, and he stick to the same target every single time. We got a respawning guy. He's getting back to us. Gunner. Get a guy with a crossbow. Shot off the crossbow. Just quick, quick fix on that. Again, just try to cripple them. Try not to kill them if not needed. Time schedule and these are pretty tight. I mean, I only got one more minute left, although I do just have to throw, drive them to there. But one minute is still pretty tight. So, you do not uh, really, you just do not want to waste time in these game modes. Just keep on driving and driving and driving. Okay, as I said, as once I reach this escape zone, the match is over. For these, uh, for a medium mode again, you will reach 18 copper. Not really that great, but it's doable. Anyway, that will conclude this guide. Hope you guys all enjoyed, and see you guys all later. Bye bye.